I am so excited to share this news with you all. So I just got off the phone talking with a friend who lives out in East Texas, which is like a few hours away from where I'm at right now. And so I got to pray for her. I sent her, she put a message on Facebook saying, Hey, I've got a headache. And she put like these Power Rangers on there and they're like shaking their head. And she was like, it's terrible. So I sent her a message saying, Hey, do uh, you have a headache? And she responded. And I said, hey, what if I call you and pray for you right now and the Lord will heal you? And uh, she was like, okay, sure. So, like, I, I prayed for her and I said, hey, I'm just going to pray for you. Pray for this thing to go away. We're going to talk to Jesus. It's going to be awesome. And just pray for her. And so... Um, she had, so we prayed first and she's like, wow, some of it's pain actually has gone down a little bit. I forgot to ask her like, Hey, what's pain at? Where are you at now? And things like that. So, um, so I asked her afterwards and she's like, okay, yeah, the pain has gone from, I think she was like a eight starting with, then she went down to a three and then back to a four. And so at that time I was like, okay, let's pray again. Where's it hurt exactly? She was like here and like here and here. And she was, so then uh, she put her hand back on her, her neck and I prayed for the neck and then prayed a little bit more for the front. She's like, the pain in the front's gone. She's like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Wow. So cool. So then, um, we prayed for the back a little bit more of the neck and she was like, that pain's gone. She's like, oh man, I forgot I had pain in my ears. So <laughs> we prayed for her ears and then her ears started to get better because she said they were like clogged up or something. So the pain went away from her ears. And I think we had to pray like eight times, 10 times. I don't know, we prayed quite a few times. So she let us keep going and we just kept hitting it. And um, I mean, at one point she was like, you know, even more than the healing right now, I just feel God's love for me. And it's over, it's like pouring all over me. And I just, I feel it. And it was just super cool. So like, I didn't tell her this, but that was the first time I've like prayed over the phone for somebody in another place. And it like worked. And so I think I prayed for somebody somewhere else at one point. I don't know if I recorded that earlier, but this is the first one that like I really, really remember it happening. And it might even really be the first time outside of like, after I came back from college where like somebody like really, really got healed and like, were really kind of freaked out about it. Like, Whoa, this just happened. So like, praise the Lord. This is super cool. It's starting. The kingdom of God is here. We're going to get it going. Yeah. Okay. Not like I'm really, I'm really pumped right now. So, um, this is super cool. So uh, on a side note, I have been listening to a guy by the name of Dan Moeller. And what's interesting about him is that he talks about so much about knowing who you are in Christ and knowing um, um, like you just spending time with Jesus and having intimacy with him. And um, I don't, I don't know. I, I want to put this out here because I said I'd be documenting the journey. It, it, it's like, it's this healing is not me. It's not a person. It's not this, it's not that. Okay. It's Jesus and Jesus alone. And he is the healer. He's the one that took the stripes. He's the one that did it all. And like, you try to like sit there and convince yourself and think through it and process it and just be like, I'm going to force it in and do it. But honestly, like I've, like I've been spending just the time with Jesus going, Jesus, show me you love me. Like help me to know and understand and know your love for me. And like help me just to spend time with you, to be intimate with you. And like, I feel like God has been like removing my, my like self-worthlessness and the, the condemnation and the pain and the, the, all the inner stuff going on. And I feel like he has just been pouring out his love on me and just going, man, I love you, Brian. I love you. And I just kind of want to be like, 
walking around, going, Jesus loves me. Me. He loves me. And like, I, like I, I struggle with this part too. I'm going to throw it out there because I'm throwing it all. I, I sent a message to some friends today. We were talking about stuff. They were talking about all of these past struggles and and just being stuck in the past. And like God has been like showing me, Brian, you don't have to live in the past. The old man is dead. He's dead, 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 dead. A dead man doesn't feel nothing. He doesn't feel anything. And and so like all the stupid things I've done in the past, all of the 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 things, all of the thoughts, all of the things that have been done to me, just all of that is gone in Jesus. Like the old man's dead. And so how does God see me? He sees me alive in Jesus. He sees me as righteous. Not because of me, but that's because of what Jesus did. Like, like I was just listening to this one on Moeller again. Like, the righteous will not be shaken. I think it's Psalm 112. And where do we get our righteousness from? I think Romans 5 says that God has given us his righteousness. Like, the righteousness has been given to us. And so... Like, even our ability to stand in shaky times has nothing to do with us. But completely on the fact that Jesus has given us his righteousness. Like, it's all Jesus. The whole thing. Yeah. We just get to participate in the awesomeness. So, he's been pouring out his love on me. He's been communicating to me how much he loves me. And... um. Like, man, I, I, I want to know Jesus more. And some other stuff I've been hearing, it's not a formula. It's not don't say this or don't say that or say this, say that, whatever. Just love people and like let God's love just pour out into other people. And I didn't even lay hands on the person. They were 200 miles away. So like, like literally, how in the world... Could I have done anything? Like, this is all Jesus. So, like, praise the Lord. Uh, and it's another thought, too, to be careful with, I guess. Like, in the sense of the processing and figuring, do I do it this way, do it that way? How do I say it? Whatever. Mark 16. It, in believing, you're going to lay hands on the Like, if you said go. Okay, so another verse. I'm not going to start with the other verses. I'm, I'm like... I've, I, I looked at my life too, and I'm going, Brian, you don't really believe that what God says he'll do, he'll do. And like, I think in some of the other times I prayed for people, I've been a little nervous about saying, Hey, God's going to heal you right now. I might've done that this time. And I, cause I was like, Oh man, I'm nervous to do that. But, I, but like, I'm going to put the faith out there. I'm going to put the trust. We're going to step out. And like, I know this person and it could be like really bad. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I did that. So, um, faith in believing in what God says, he says he'll do and he'll do just believing him. Like I, I look at my life back and be like, Brian, you didn't really believe God for all this stuff, lots of stuff. But now it's like, Brian, you got to believe God. Like it's like, come on, this is, this is it. This is going to happen. So then the second thing, back to the Mark 16 passage, the disciples went And Jesus went with them, accomplishing the work in them. And and so, like, we go, lay hands on the sick, cast out demons, all the other stuff it says in there, and Jesus goes with us, and he does it. So, like, you know, I want to throw this out, too, because I've been listening to this, and, like, a thought just popped in my head. And um, whatever thoughts come into your head, Whatever bad things, things that are not lined up with scripture, just go, hey, that's not me. That's the old man. I believe in Jesus. Like praise his name and worship him and just like lift it all to Jesus because like it's the old dude, you know, like praise Jesus that like I have the mind of Christ. I am been filled with the spirit. Holy Spirit is a seal on me. Like. Like, Jesus is in me. He loves me. Jesus loves me. Like, 
I got, man, I still, I, I want to know more of how much he loves me. And, all right, let's do it. All right, let's love Jesus. Let's let him love us. Because I feel like we have a hard time with that sometimes. Because we're still trying to make it on our own. But Jesus loves you and me. He loves us so much. All right, go. Go get it done. Because Jesus is with you. And he loves you. See ya.